Hello everyone, Drodge here. Today I'm going to do something a little different for you. Instead of doing a skill guide like I was planning on, which the next skill guide will actually be covering rune crafting and possibly herb lore as well. It might just be one, I might actually just be trying to shorten up the tutorial guides because I know they have been kind of long. So I'm going to try to summarize them in just a little bit shorter for you guys. This way they're not that long. But right now, instead of a guide, I want to show you a mini game called Cabbage Face Punch. Now, what this mini game is, is I'll, I'll show you in a bit. But I'll, I'll explain the rewards and the point system. Okay, right wasn't that long ago Jagged's released a new mini game feature and it's called a spotlight now when a game mini game is on spotlight you can earn more thaller and more points and what the thaller does is it enables you to buy stuff from across all the mini game shops that are functional with the spotlight feature now it also enables you to buy some extras too, like skilling outfits and other stuff. Cer certain things are not allowed within the hardcore accounts. Now, I'm on my hardcore account. Now this pin, it might look like a pin. However, I use their two-step verification. I use a authenticator which is highly recommended to help protect against hackers for your account. I mean, it's not foolproof, nothing is foolproof, but it can help protect your account. Yeah, as I was saying, it, like for instance, the fighter torso is actually got from the Barbarian Assault set. And it says a little bit about the set bonus if you have the whole set on, and it costs 150 Thaler. Currently, I have 20 Thaler. Now, it seems like, whoa, wait a minute. That, that's a huge, huge jump. You know, especially for, let's say, that profound or decorative plate. But you got to figure, you're only getting so much Thaler per match. Not to mention, you do get a good amount of Thaler for the main mini game that is the main spotlight. The one I am playing, while it may be in the spotlight, it is not the main spotlight. But as you can see here, you got a bunch of different items you can select from. A few things you can enhance, like these rings. I, there is actually a lot of good rewards. Now that's just within the armor category. You got the skill gear category, which you got gloves. These I cannot buy. These are not available on the Iron Man modes. I'm not exactly sure why, but they're not. It might change in time, I'm not sure, because right now the minigame you can get them from is, I guess it's just not available to Iron Man accounts, and this is a hardcore Iron Man account. But here you have a few skilling gear, and these will help you get XP faster in certain skills. Also, sometimes they have a few bonus um, effects that you can get. Now, this is the item I'm going for. However, I am not going for it in this fashion. The Thaler way would take a lot longer than to actually play the minigame. Then there's also the miscellaneous category, which is kind of like your cosmetics or you know a few pets but there's a few in things in here that are actually popular like silverhawk boots because they can really help you train your agility level very fast without having to go through all the tedious work of training your agility and then this which I wish was on the Iron Man mode but it is a treasure hunter reward that they also put into this which the magic note paper enables you to take your drops use them on the magic note paper it'll turn them into note form as long as that item can be noted 
and you can just carry on with what you're doing. There's other things too, like clue scrolls, which are very useful for unique rewards, which is also not available to buy in the Iron Man category. You can get these from drops, but you cannot get them by buying them. And the limited edition stuff is stuff from Treasure Hunter, which Treasure Hunter and Iron Man are not allowed because the Iron Man account is supposed to be what you do on your own. It is no assistance. Now, the reason why I'm playing this mini game though is for this, the Seed Aside. What Seed Aside does, if you can't read it there, it destroys any seeds that are dropped. And whenever they are dropped, you get two times the XP as if you were planting them for farming. And that is two times the XP per seed. Now, most seed drops drop more than one seed. So, when you're getting higher and higher level, if you get dropped like potato drops, if you get a potato seed, it's not a lot of XP when you're training your farming. So, it's not exactly worth it to pick them up. Stop what you're doing, pick them up, and can then continue on your way. So, something like the seed aside is actually more beneficial to you than as if you were to pick up those seeds. Especially because it only takes about maybe two days to earn enough points within this mini game to get the seeds. Well, to get the seed aside. Because you can get a total of 1,000 points per day plus anything extra. Now I say it that way because whenever you're playing the game, your first 500 points are doubled. So if you get 50 points the first round from what you earn, the mini game will actually match that and give you 50 more to give you a total of 100 points. So you can actually get up to 1,000 points this way. Now if you want to play it after that, it's just straight up points. So then it's just whatever you get is whatever you get. Now whenever you cross through the barrier, it puts you basically in a waiting room. And this mini game is actually instanced, so it will actually take not too long as you seem. To find a group, or if there is no group going, you'll be by yourself playing. But your whole objective is you have about one minute to get from one side to the other. Now I'm not going to have you sit here and watch the whole mini game. I'm going to let you get the concept of what is going on, how it works, and what you need to do. Now there is passive abilities, there is active abilities. Active abilities you have to activate. Case in point being called active abilities. However there is also passive abilities. The passive abilities allow you to do whatever they do on a regular basis. You don't have to activate them, you don't have to do anything, they're just there, they work all the time. Now right there, there's a Cabbage Cauldron, it's essentially poison. It'll damage you as long as you're within that range of those tiles. There's also Fire, which if you don't have the Flame Proof ability to activate, it will hurt you. And I almost didn't make that. Oh, apparently I did make it. That is what happens if you actually... Um, don't make it to the other side or if you lose all your health you will turn into a gorilla now the reason why this is not so good is because when you're a gorilla the most points you can get per round is two points you might be able to get a little bit more if you can defeat another player but that's about it and see how you get your points is you'll be placed in a trap I got two points for doing that. I have a total of eight points right now. So instead of wasting my time, I'm just going to exit to the lobby. This will kick me out of the instance and then I'll be able to rejoin. I don't like doing it that way. It seems kind of cheap. You're 
kind of cheating the system, but you're also not cheating the system at the same time, if you know what I mean. But yeah, your whole objective is, is to get as many points as you possibly can within 10 rounds. Now, at the end of each round, you get bonus points in accordance to what round it is. So, okay, here I am again. I'm by myself for now. But it is round one. So I will get one bonus point at the end of this round. And each thing I gather, or each monkey I attack and kill, or even if it is a team effort, team efforts will help you take down the monkeys faster, it will help you gather resources faster. Now the only thing you don't want to run into is a gorilla. The gorilla will beat you. I have never heard of anybody defeating a gorilla. And I've, I don't think it's even possible. But the fire hurts you, the gorilla will hurt you, and the cauldrons will hurt you if you're within their room. But yeah, like, like I said, the main thing is you want to get to the other side within the one minute a lot of time frame. Now that I'm over here, I'm in the safe zone. I have eight points already, and I gained one point for surviving that round. Now for surviving this round, I would get two points, because it is round two. That might seem kind of cheap. It might not seem like much. But if you think about it, the game goes for 10 rounds, so that is actually a good substantial of accumulated points the game just automatically gives you for just surviving. The main portion of your points, though, will come from your activity within the minigame. That's really actually all there really is to it. Basically, you don't want to die. It is a safe death, you don't lose your points, as you've seen earlier, but you really, really don't want to, because if you do leave, you lose your points. So if you're, yeah, maybe let's say four or five rounds into the game, you have to decide, is it really worth leaving early to get more points. Would it be really that much more worth it? Which some would say yes, others would say no. I really don't know personally. Sometimes I, would, I say yes if it's low enough. Now the big thing for here is to, you know, of course you don't want to take damage. But now when talking about damage, how damage is calculated is that you um, get damage taken in accordance to your constitution or hit point level. So if you have, well for instance I'm level 45 hit points, or level 45 constitution, I get hit less than she will. This person here has a lot higher level, they can take more damage, well they have more hit points so they take more damage. Now, you see right there I helped her kill that monkey so I also got a token. That's why whenever you're running through here, see like right there she's getting hit for over 700 damage. I will not get hit for over 700 damage because I don't have that many hit points. I'm still a relatively low level in general for this game. But as you can see, it's fairly, fairly quick mini game, but it's mostly used to get the seed aside. And as you can see, I have 36 points already. And I'm going to get a total of four bonus points this round just for being in here. Just for surviving this round, I get bonus. See, like right there, I got hit for 228. 
I don't get hit for that much because I don't have that many hit points. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. I greatly appreciate all that. If you'd like to see any other mini games, let me know. I may or may not show more. But this is the Cabbage Face Punch Extravaganza. So, well, Bonanza. So if you like this mini game, if you'd like to see more like this in the future of their mini games, I might do some brief episodes on them. But if you want to see a full game, also, like I said, let me know. I'll do a full game for you. So until next time, thank you for watching. Have an awesome day, and I will see you later. Have fun, guys.